continues now at 11 starts with breaking news. Officials in Newport News are investigating after they say an inmate hanged himself in the Newport News City Jail this evening. A spokesperson with the Sheriff's Office says a deputy found 32 year old Matthew Hicks in his cell around 445. Officials tried to revive him, but he was pronounced dead after 5 p.m. Hicks was booked into the jail on August 23rd, 2018 after being extradited from Missouri to face a 2015 rape charge. And breaking news out of York County, Virginia State Police are on the scene of a fatal car accident. It happened on Yorktown Road around 1030. We are working to find out more details. A man is behind bars charged with second degree murder after Norfolk police found a woman dead inside a house. Officials have been at the house on West 26th Street all day. Megan Perrier has the details and spoke to neighbors. Megan. Jacqueline neighbors tell me the last time they saw Johnson was days ago. Now Norfolk police started their investigation in the early hours of this morning and as of 10 o'clock tonight, they were still out there investigating at the scene. Now police say they got a call for a suspicious situation around midnight Saturday morning. Investigators say that when they got to the house on West 26th Street, they found 44 year old Faith A. Johnson dead. Now 36 year old Dustin Wilder was charged with second degree murder and concealment of a dead body. A neighbor who did not want to be identified says many neighbors saw Wilder outside this morning. Well, because you do another think that you got a murder, uh, a suspect, a murder walking past you the whole time, you know, and an innocent woman in the house laying dead like that, you know, it's kind of scary. It's kind of weird how he just did that and just hid her and coming outside like he didn't do nothing, looking innocent. You know? Walter is being held in Norfolk City Jail without bond. Live in the newsroom, I'm Megan Perrier, 13 News Now. Right now, the Coast Guard is searching for a 40 year old man who went missing after leaving Rhode Island and sailing to Norfolk. The Coast Guard tell us Ryan Hollis left on his 43 foot sailboat on October 23rd. Officials said Hollis's final destination is Miami. So if you've seen him or his boat, call the Coast Guard Command Center at the number on your screen. Turning to the weather now is a really gorgeous day here in Hampton Roads, but is the rain going to return? Chief Meteorologist Jeff Lawson is here with the forecast, Jeff. Yeah, no doubt about it. Even though things are clear out there right now, they are not going to stay that way. Maybe not even by late tonight, let alone during the day tomorrow. Now it's not going to rain all day. It'll also be really, really warm. So let me sort of give you the headlines right now. Notice the winds out of the east and southeast. They switch to more southerly late tonight. So if you thought it was warm today, wait until you see those temperatures tomorrow. Humidity also coming up with that dew point. So we have that air coming in out of the south. The record high I said this week earlier, the record was 86. I misspoke 86 is Monday's high. So Sunday's high temperature, the record 87 degrees set back in 2010. Tomorrow we should be about 83. If we'd had 83 today, it would have tied the record, but again, tomorrow's records abnormally high. Southerly winds, though, are also going to mean some rain. Again, not a whole lot tonight. A couple of isolated showers late tonight, but as we get into tomorrow, it won't be that rainy at times in the morning, but look at this line out west. I'll let you know more about when that gets here, whether it could be strong to severe. That's all coming up. Thank you, Jeff. Hampton police are searching for the person who hit and killed a teenage girl. It happened last night around 7 on Wilton Road near Todd's Lane. The driver killed a 15 year old and injured a woman. That woman is expected to recover. Officers say the driver did not stop. Right now they're looking for a white utility style van. So if you know anything that could help police call the crime line, that number is 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. Tomorrow, the cycling community is coming together on the peninsula. They're remembering one of their friends who died in a hit and run a year ago. Brian Utney died on Lakeside Drive in York County on October 25th last year. He was riding home on his bike when a pickup truck hit him. The person responsible drove off but was arrested weeks later. The Brian Utney Memorial Ride starts at 9 a.m. at Washington Square Shopping Center and is 25 miles long. And the man accused of hitting Utney and leaving him to die pleaded guilty this summer. Police charge Alexander Crosby with involuntary manslaughter and failure to stop for an accident. His sentencing was supposed to happen this week, but it was continued until spring of next year. 
In a rare Saturday session, three congressional committees working on the impeachment inquiry of President Trump listened to closed-door testimony from the Acting Assistant Secretary of European and Eurasian Affairs. ABC's David Wright has the details. In a rare Saturday session, the Congressional Impeachment Inquiry heard today from its latest witness, Philip Rieker, Acting Assistant Secretary of European and Eurasian Affairs. Rieker is the latest in a succession of career diplomats who've defied White House orders not to cooperate with the investigation. I've known him for a number of years. I think he's, uh, he's being honest and uh, telling us what, what, uh, what he's, he's observed. This week, the three committees also heard from America's top diplomat in Ukraine, Bill Taylor, who described what he said was a concerted pressure campaign to get Ukraine to investigate the president's political rivals. He's a never-Trumper. His lawyers, the head of the never-Trumpers, they're a dying breed, but they're still there. President Trump has repeatedly denied there was a quid pro quo. Now he's trying to discredit Taylor, who was recruited for the Ukraine job by Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. Hey, everybody makes mistakes. I, Mike Pompeo, everybody makes mistakes. ABC News has learned the White House is looking to beef up its legal team to help respond to the impeachment inquiry. Despite the president's assertions, he doesn't need a team. I don't have teams. Everyone's talking about teams. I'm the team. I did nothing wrong. But so far, White House efforts to block administration officials from testifying have been mostly ineffective. On Friday, a federal court also handed Democrats a victory, ruling the Justice Department must hand over secret grand jury testimony from the Mueller probe. The White House has yet to say whether it will appeal. David Wright, ABC News, Washington. Home for the holidays. Today, 300 sailors aboard the USS Gonzales safely returned to Norfolk after a seven and a half month deployment. Adriana de Alba was there as they reunited with their loved ones. When the USS Gonzales pulled into Norfolk, there were smiles, cheers, and love. An overwhelming feeling of relief. Their loved ones are home safe. Oh, it's been a long seven months. I'm glad he's home. We are a military family, so I've been through it before, but not with my son. So it is amazing having him home again with us. Home after a seven and a half month deployment to Europe and the Middle East. Sailors aboard the Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer conducted ballistic missile defense in the Persian Gulf and other other missions. The crew ensured freedom of navigation through the Strait of Hormuz and advanced U.S. national interests, security and stability in Europe and Africa. Commanding Officer Captain Christopher Schwarz emotional as he reunited with his wife Francine and their two sons. So there have been missed holidays, missed birthdays, um, you know, summer was was a little rough, but they're coming home now, so we're ready. Commanding Officer Captain Schwarz leaves the ship proud of his crew. You know, we left as a crew, but came back as a family, and uh, I truly mean that. Uh, you know, deployment is never easy, but we have an outstanding ship, an outstanding crew, and had uh, awesome support uh, all, all around. Once they leave the ship and the signs are put away, Commanding Officer Captain Schwarz says he and his family are looking forward to pizza tonight and some quality time together. In Norfolk, Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now.